Okay, this is where we are. <laughs> this is where we're at on the home construction as of right now. So, come on, go bigger. All right, so we've cleaned up the mess in the living room again. The dumpster's here. Uh, I don't know. We started to pull the cabinets out, ripped out the floor from the wall. This way is eight feet, so. From this way to that way is eight feet. So we're gonna put a new piece here, a new piece there. And we're gonna go under this wall. Let me see if I can get over here to this corner up falling through it. Is that floor joist there's a shot? That one over there along the wall shot. And they've scabbed on, but it's they did a terrible job. So I gotta repair all that. So I bought enough to sister on and, and make these a lot stronger because these are all in bad shape. Right on the ends mostly, but I got to get them stronger than what they are because this whole corner of the house needs to go up. This is the problem child right here. But what I'm going to show you, yeah, we got the power on. I don't know if I told you that or not. They had to put a new meter in because the other one was no good. But we made the decision because of the way this kitchen is. Uh, that's probably another four foot. So you got eight feet. So yeah, it's a 12, 12 by 8 kitchen here. So I got a new vanity and countertop. It's going to go from that door jam to this corner. And it's going to be a basin and with a sink in it. And then of course there's going to be an upper cabinet above it. And then the stove is going to be over there. And we're going to try to build an upper cabinet above it. And then that left the refrigerator sitting here. Well, we put a refrigerator here. And then I come off the wall with a 30 inch uh, cabinet. And then the refrigerator, you'd be about a foot distance to skip back into that corner. So I talked about maybe making that a uh, pantry. You know, coming to the uh, corner of the window jam across and make that a pantry. So, what we are going to do instead is we are going to eliminate this window. Get rid of the window. And frame it in. We're going to drywall this wall around to this wall is going to be all new drywall then the bathroom they're going to extend here to the window make this all nice and square and then we're going to make this part of the bathroom so that means we're going to because the bathroom I'll show you the bathroom is literally what is the dimensions on this seven seven by five so the bathtub is five feet and one inch and then it's like 30 inches wide so it actually literally like falls right here and it leaves you 22 inches from the wall to the tub to sit on the toilet but then it falls right here so it leaves you two feet right here hardly any room to even put a vanity in here for sink without smashing it against the tub and the toilets would be really, really crowded in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this wall back. And I'm going to try to make it thinner. Because this is literally from this window seal to here is uh, four foot, ten and a half inches. Which it makes us, I don't know, two, almost two inches too, too narrow to put the tub in here this way and relocate the toilet here and then put a vanity here would have worked out better but because the bathroom's so narrow we can't do it so we're thinking about shoving this wall back and putting the tub over in that corner toilet and vanity and then that will give us a nice little walk in here and it would be less crowded in this bathroom and then of course then that'll make the bathroom feel bigger and to be honest with you if you turn the refrigerator sideways and put the doors facing that way instead of facing you and then put the counter to it, that would make the kitchen, even though it's a small room, feel bigger because you're not going to be crowded in this corner and then you'll have a countertop and your stove can go in that corner and then this will all be open here. So they make this room feel bigger. Uh, we didn't have to do this much construction if these four weren't in crappy shape. 
but I'm glad we are because it gives us chance to make this house better than it is. We're still going to be within budget. I don't know about budget. Uh, what a, within my price range of what I want to be material-wise and labor-wise on this house. So I've got all the material ready. The drywall is on its way right now. The flooring material is on its way. I've already got the wiring. Yes, there's still probably... I know there's more stuff I have to buy, but it's the little stuff. So I've got all the 2x4s to reframe this wall in and reframe all this in and as well as this wall. So once this is all framed in, we're going to get the floor in, we'll get the back door in, we'll get some insulation and we'll insulate this room here. Then we'll figure out the wash and dryer location and then we'll figure out the water heater location. Where we want the water heater because that's still undecided yet. Uh, as of uh, now, the laundry room is probably where the water heater is going to go unless it changes but trying to keep everything clean and organized so we don't have to juggle everything so ceiling tiles which i gotta go get some more which is not a big deal because the house i got this from has more and uh all the trim and stuff that we've been kind of stacking off the corner just little bits and pieces of stuff we're going to try to save this thing here we're going to uh, tear it down because one it's not constructed very good and the doors are junk and it's just more money that is unnecessary so we're just going to get rid of it and they can get it like a little closet like this thing here that slides around and put in here or whatever we got our water lines of course i still got to get elbows 90s and fittings and stuff and any toilet and a bathroom sink and whatnot but that is where we're at right now on this house um today's friday i'm off saturday and sunday i gotta be somewhere monday and tuesday so i'm gonna be off i'll be back on this wednesday so i really don't want to break these up into series but i guess i might end up going doing it too like uh day one day two or uh, episode one episode two or whatever how we do this so i'm gonna end this video right here so y'all have a great day god bless you and please subscribe if you haven't have a good day